Fizz. Fuzz. Excuse me. What did you do to this thing? Fizz, did you chew this up? You know, they don't make these anymore, Fizz. Fuzz. Fuzz, did you chew this? We can't get these anymore. They've been discontinued. You can't get the Snack Shack anymore. Hey, it's Scotty. When it comes to hay racks, many of you know I've always recommended the Snack Shack. I really love it as a vessel for stuffing hay because it has it has hay that comes out both sides and the top and it's really easy for piggies to eat from and you can store a whole day's worth of hay in the snack shack. It's piggy safe and I really love it. And as many of you also know, it's been discontinued and even though I keep them full of hay, my piggies have slowly been chewing them. Some of them are surviving longer than others. And hey, these boys cause trouble, but they also manage to work it out. We were talking, we were talking about hay racks. So I love the snack shack, but unfortunately it's been discontinued, but people still send me messages asking me what kind of hay rack I recommend. So I have been sending them links to the hay bags that I like. A hay bag is great because you can fill it with hay and it's easy for them to eat. It, sit, it sits in the corner, uh, but it's still, it's not the snack shack. So I'm still on the search for the perfect hay rack. Well, I found a hay rack that I actually really like. And of course it comes from Small Pet Select. There are a number of wooden hay racks that are similar to this, but some of the ones that I don't like, they have the bars are too close together and it makes it more difficult for hay to come out. This one, what I love about it is the hay uh, is easy to come out. Piggies can stick their whole face in there, but they don't have to worry. They're not going to get their head stuck. And it's big enough. It's almost the same dimensions as the snack shack. It's big enough that you can stuff a whole day's worth of hay. Okay, I haven't set this one up yet. It comes with these little, these are like little, um, it's like a holder so you can stick it on the side of the CNC grids. So I think that this is going to be a really nice solution and we're gonna test it out. We'll see how good it is. Is it as good as I think it's gonna be? It's pretty reasonably priced. It's about $27 I think is what it was listed for. You can get it on the Small Pet Select website and on Amazon. Remember, if you're a new customer to Small Pet Select, I've got a 15% off link in the description. You click that link. And even if you've already shopped and you've already used that, if you do click the link to start your shopping session, I will get credit for it. It will help me and the animals and all of my rescue efforts. So I appreciate that. But if you're a new customer, you can take advantage of the 15%. And I do always say that they're always running sales. They're always trying to create incentives for people to try their products. So if you sign up for their email, they will send you notifications when they have sales. They have like 20% off the herbal blends foraging mixes the other day. They always have discounts like on the pellets. I use small pet select pellets. I use the non-GMO soy-based pellets, my piggies like them very much they're very good they have all the vitamins and minerals that piggies need but i saw this and i thought this could be the solution because sooner or later all of these snack shacks are going to be destroyed so i want a hay rack that's easy to load say this opening's a little narrow for my taste, but not a problem. You can stuff a whole day's worth of hay in here. Let's see how that works. Let's see. It's gonna go right there on the second to last one. Heck, let's see. So it's hovering just a little bit, but it's right at piggy mouth height. What do you think, boys? Wow, that looks pretty nice. 
Yeah, that looks pretty nice. So I think that's a reasonable price too. I don't anticipate the piggies destroying it. So you can see it hangs a little bit off the edge. Yeah. It's out of the way. Okay. So you guys know part of my, the mission of my channel is to help you guys spend the money in the right direction. People who think that guinea pigs are starter pets and that they're easy to take care of and that you don't have to spend any money, well, that's not true. What's the point of having any pet if you're not going to spoil them? And it's so easy to spoil piggies. It's so easy to spoil them. You give them fresh hay, high quality pellets, fresh clean water, and they're very happy. You give them a little place to, to hide and a nice open space. So let me get this out of here. These guys are in a two by four CNC cage. And uh, yeah, this looks great. I'm happy. So let me guys, so let me know, what do you guys think? Have you used this? What is the hay rack that you guys use? Uh, I'm still using the snack shacks for the ones that are not being totally destroyed. But I think this could be a decent alternative to the snack shack. So we'll see how it goes. And we'll see if they don't destroy it. But uh, yeah, I think that this is a nice... It's handsome. It looks good. What I like about it is it's it's all you see are these little wooden planks and you just mostly see the hay. It's keeping the hay in, but it's it's more important that the hay is easier to access than it is that it good doesn't get spread everywhere. They're going to pull it out. They're going to waste a lot of it anyways. Piggies waste hay. They waste pellets obviously. Um, that's just what they do. So again, these are the non-GMO soy-free pellets that that I have from Small Pet Select. And Small Pet Select, they really do uh, support small animals. They support rescues. They have been supporting the LA Guinea Pig Rescue for a really long time. And I'm just happy to, to know them and to share their products and... and uh, I hope that you find them to be a good company providing good value because that's what I found. So look at that. That's that. This could be this could be the perfect hay rack. I'll put a link directly to this in the description. All right. Until next time. Thanks for watching. And check out my entire food playlist. I'll put my diet playlist right here. There's a lot of tips and techniques about how to save money, what the proper food and diet is. Just a lot of videos about nutrition, vitamin C, uh, how to sprout treats for your piggies. There's a whole bunch of stuff there. It's just a deep dive into diet and nutrition.